Hi guys, Andy back again. Um, I've been a little bit slack on the old YouTube videos lately. Um, what is going on with this lighting in here? I've got a Venetian blind over there. I think it's like giving me all sort of spooky effects. Um, basically, yeah, I've done a load of DMR videos and um, you know, it's it's kind of gone a little bit quiet after that. <laughs> kind of went a bit crazy with all the um, radio videos. Um, and uh, yeah, they got quite quite a good um, response and stuff. So thanks everyone for the, for the nice comments on that. Um, but been messing around with some other stuff. You can see the radio is obviously all still all still going strong. But um, yeah, I've been messing around with some other stuff, which might be interesting to some of the um, subscribers I've got now because it's quite relevant, like electronics, electrical stuff. So I'm going to tell you what that is in a moment. Um, but I just need to walk through the house and go outside so that I can show you what I've been doing. Right, walking through the house. Um, I've not used this camera for vlogging before, um, so I hope it comes out all right. Um, I've just had a bit of a nightmare. I've just done a load of video and I just realised I didn't work well, as on standby, so that's a bit stupid. Um, but here we go, I just need to get outside. Let me show you outside what I'm going to do. Um, right, so this is an electric powered quad. Yes, completely electric. It's got no oil, no petrol, no engine, no anything ridiculous, um, and no noise, no. Um, yeah, it's basically completely, completely electric. Um, it's like a sort of one of these Chinese quads, which is um, sort of like an adult, they call them like adult teen sort of quads, where it's not a full size, full size quad like a Yamaha Raptor or something like that, but it's basically like a, um, you know, like a sort of, well, I'm six foot, put it this way, I'm six foot, um, and why about 14 stone, and it's perfect, absolutely perfect for me. Um, now, when it arrived, it had like a battery box here which you can see is still there um, but it had lead acid batteries in it um, four 12 volt lead acid batteries giving you 48 volts and um, needless to say the batteries weighed an absolute ton they weren't particularly good at delivering power um, weren't very good at delivering any current um, and on the test runs this is my cat solo to Naboo um, yeah basically you know it would it would it would get you to about 10 something like 10 mile an hour 10 12 mile an hour um didn't have a speedo on it at the time but i measured it with a gps it's about 10 mile an hour um which don't sound like a lot but actually it had plenty of torque and this thing has got bags of torque it will pull me you know 14 stone six foot up pretty much any obstacle it's really 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 impressive it's got this um it's like an 800 watt motor um, in there and I'll tell you in a minute what I managed to squeeze out of this 800 watt motor because 800 watts is not even touching the sides um, so yeah basically first thing I thought I'd do was rip the batteries out rip those um, horrible heavy lead acid batteries and put lithium polymer batteries in it like um, sort of radio control RC batteries in effect um, so I found out what you could do as Naboo just disappears into the into the quad bike, um, I found out that what you could do, or well, she's going to ride it actually. Um, what you could do is you could run this up to about 75 volts, and you know you need to actually change um, one of the components or one of the actual block module things inside. It's like a, a voltage regulator which steps down the voltage for the battery down to the down to 12 volts for the lights and everything else. As long as you change that, you can then run this thing on 75 volts actually up to as high as 80 but I haven't really gone that far yet so at 75 volts this thing will do about 18 17 80 mile an hour the torque goes up even more um, and it is pretty actually quite scary um, <laughs> yeah, on, on um, sort of really rough terrain like through the woods and stuff if you're running this thing flat out you, there's a real danger that you're gonna you could quite easily just come flying off um, so you really don't want you know any more speed so sort of 18 mile an hour is not a great deal but um you know when you're running through the woods and everything and stuff with the amount of torque that it's got um it's just it's really really good fun put it that way anyway so yeah i managed to squeeze 18 18s of lipos in here which is about 75 volts fully charged and um you know they don't there's, there's so much room left in the battery box you could probably fit so much more um, but I've got 16 amp power, um, which yeah, probably gives you, you probably get about 10 miles on it, 
um, at the moment on 16 amp hours on the power that's running. And the motor is now running at about two, nearly two kilowatts, and it doesn't even. I mean, it gets slightly warm. It was a nice warm day today, and it was it was pretty much sort of you know lukewarm um, at the end of it. And I've got a temperature. I've got a temperature gauge on that particular motor um, to sort of you know keep an eye on it as I'm going along. And how I've done that is I've got this. Um, I've got this um, Trailtech Striker. You can see here. So you get speedo, speedometer, you get temperature reading, that's temperature reading of the outside air, you get, see as high as 29 degrees there, um, you get a temperature reading of the motor, also your voltage of, I've actually got this wired up to the regulator through the ignition, so when you turn the ignition on, this shows you your, your 12 volt accessory, you can't really see it that well, um, 12 volt accessory voltage, and then, you know, the reason for that is, so I can monitor that, because I've also got this little gizmo here which monitors your um, battery, proper battery voltage. So inside the battery there's like a shunt, I've installed a shunt and it goes onto this, it connects to this um, this meter here with like a little, um, oh, I don't know what they call them, like a little, I think it's like a um, sort of phone style lead, one of those little RJ45 but smaller, one of those little plug things um, and it connects to the, this module just by that one wire and that goes off into the battery box. You can probably see, yeah, see this wire here, this one here. That is basically for the for the meter. So that goes into the into the battery box through the shunt, which you just connect it to the negative wire of the um, of the system, and then it, it will then allow you to read the voltage. Um, it will show you your current that you're pulling as you're riding it. It will show you wattage. Um, it will show you how many amps you've actually drawn, which before this, it had this weird little voltage um, controlled LED bar, which was completely useless because that was supposed to give you a state of charge, but of course it's completely dependent on voltage. And well, sealed lead acid batteries, you know, the voltage doesn't change massively throughout the charge cycle. And lithium polymers, it doesn't even change at all. So, well, I mean, at the beginning it does, but the, the, the curves are very flat. Um, so it doesn't really give you a good good idea. So you have got real danger of not knowing how far you you've actually got, um, how much battery you've got left. If you're out, if you've done like six miles or whatever, like I did today, you've got a real danger of not knowing, you know, if you can get back home or not, um, which isn't good because this thing weighs a ton. You're not going to be able to push it. Um, well, I say it weighs a ton, but actually, look, you can just pick it up, pick it up by the back. It did weigh a ton with lead acids in it, but it doesn't now. Um, so yeah, it's showing you like 12.6 amp hour I've taken out today. So my total was 16. So you know we're pretty much we're getting towards empty. I've got it set so that it it will actually warm me before way before it runs out. So I've always got enough space because when you're having fun on this thing, you just seem to forget sometimes. Um, that's like your battery percentage gives you a lot of time to go as well. It's a really good meter this, Victron Energy. Um, mainly I think these things are in intended for sort of solar powered um, systems, so like you have one of these hooked up um, and it shows you how much power's going into your, your solar system and your battery like on your house and stuff. So when I do that in the future, solar equip my house, I'm definitely going to use one of these things. Um, what else is cool about this? You've got a Bluetooth uh, interface as well which connects to this Victron meter that allows you to monitor your charging and you monitor your battery from you know well it seems to work in sort of right inside the house wherever I am so it's pretty good you can just monitor the charge so when you're running lipos and stuff you need to be watching pretty carefully what's happening with your batteries well I'm just going to chop in because I realized I didn't actually show the app there's the app there Victron connect and so it loads up and it shows you your battery monitor this is done by Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth LE I believe, like um, your low power device and it sort of connects up to the meter inside and then you've got, you can see your, your voltage, your state of charge, how much current's been taken out, you can see that properly, um, time remaining obviously nothing because it thinks the battery's flat, um, 18 degrees temperature and if you go into the history it's really quite cool. It shows you, you know, what you've taken out of the battery, maximum voltage it ever was, lowest voltage, you know, you consume power, all sorts of stuff. It's really, really useful. What's more, you can actually program 
your meter because the meter is really complicated it's got like 60 settings um, which is really good it's so flexible um, you know for setting it for different batteries so what you can do is you can actually set up you know the actual the actual meter um, and how it reads everything you see the way I've got things set and there you can actually do that on the phone and then just send it to the device so much easier than going through all the menus on the actual tiny little LCD screen um, you know on, on the meter itself so that's it um, really good back to the video when you're running lipos and stuff you need to be watching pretty carefully what's happening with your batteries um, whilst you're charging them so you know that's that's how I do it and to charge it at the moment we've just got these little um, DB25 connectors and they just they just link up inside to each cell for the battery for its balancing connector um, I don't know if, if anyone's really familiar with radio controlled or RC lipos as they're sort of called um, they have like balancing connectors for each cell which is really handy because you can just then sort of monitor the cells individually but it's really important that you don't overcharge one cell when you're doing your charging or overcharge any of the batteries for that matter because they can just basically go up in smoke and lipo fires really aren't fun been on the receiving end of a few of those um, fortunately with experiments on purpose so it's not been too too surprising but I don't want really this thing burning up um, in the garden it wouldn't be wouldn't be great so when charging we just charge each and every cell um, you know at the same time using a balancing charger um, using like a Hyperion 1430i net I think it is which does 14s so I've had to do 14s and then do the other four separately but you know another story yeah so basically um, you know a really really cool fun project um, you can get these get these quads um, shipped in you know I think there's companies in the UK doing them but really they need these extra modifications to make them um, make them fun so you know we might do something through the uh, through Cloudstow um, to do with this but you know really it's um, it's kind of experimentation at the moment um, but so uh, yeah it's, it's the electric side of things is definitely definitely the thing to watch yeah, the electric side of things is definitely um, definitely the thing to watch at the moment because it's it's getting to the point where, you know, well, I mean, for, for quite a while it's actually been able to sort of replace um, sort of engines, but now you're getting the big companies on board like Tesla Motors and all these guys, you know, it, it's getting really, really interested. And I've learned a lot from um, Endless Dash Sphere forums. Um, check that out. That is just the best place ever. And it, I mean, it is one of these really addictable forums if you're hanging around if you if you like sort of hanging around on forums online and stuff it's one of these things that's just like you will just never leave it <laughs> it's so much there so many so many experts as well there's guys doing like um electric bikes like electric bicycles that can do the quarter mile in like you know 10 seconds and stuff so it's you know this is this is small time compared to some of the stuff that they're doing on there but this is where it's um this is where it's going so it's all about electric guys. Anyway, that's it from me and I'll catch you soon.